Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Thanks for joining me for this week's video. Um, this week I wanted to get into um, the announcement of a new project that I'm going to be working on that I'm kind of collaborating on with um, Dick Klein. Dick Klein is the uh, inventor of the KF Airfoil, as you guys are probably, probably already aware of. Um, and he has been shooting these ideas back and forth to me of some different projects that he wanted to do. And one of the projects that he came up with is he wanted to do a project based on the KF M3 airfoil versus the Clark Y airfoil and um, see how each of them perform in uh, regards to lift and endurance and flight and stuff like that. So um, basically I kind of threw together a concept for a large cargo, uh, military style cargo plane that I wanted to build. Um, here's kind of a real quick mock-up I did of, of uh, the plane I want to build. It's just a little small plane right now. Um, I was using this for um, doing some glide tests and stuff like that. But basically I'm going to be building a bigger version of this um, little plane here. Um, probably 54 inch wingspan is what I've uh, decided on. It's going to have dual motors. Basically going to have one motor on each side here and here. Um, they're going to be prop motors probably running um, 8 inch props. Um, I'm thinking about 300 watts each um, for each motor. So Okay guys, here's just another angle of the plane I'm going to be making. Um, this is still the smaller version here. Um, but basically it's going to be a 54 inch wingspan as I mentioned earlier. Um, it's going to have the KF uh, M3 airfoil which is the double step on top of the wing and we're going to do some flights with the KF airfoil on top and get some measurements of how much weight it lifts, um, basically how far it takes for it to take off and uh, different studies like that. And once we get all the studies and uh, data in from the uh, KF airfoil version I'm going to basically convert the wing over to uh, something similar to a Clark Y might not be exactly a recreation of a Clark Y, but something similar. We're going to cover up the steps on the KF airfoil and basically run the same tests, um, hopefully pretty close and back to back so the conditions will be uh, pretty similar. Um, then we're going to hopefully uh, be able to compare them, see uh, how each of them work. And uh, Dick Klein and I are hoping that it'll uh, give us some good data on the benefits of using the KF airfoils. So that's going to be coming up after we get the planes all built. So that's going to be pretty cool, I think. And um, here real quick, this is just a um, quick graphic of the um, airplane that I'm going to be making. Here we go, you can see the size of the actual wingspan and um, where the motor is going to go and how the KF Airfoil is going to lay, it out, lay out on top of the airplane. So um, the next few weeks, like I said, we're going to be building it and uh, getting into the testing phase of testing the plane. And once we're sure it's uh, secure and flying well, then we'll start loading it up, see how much weight it'll carry and um, see how long it'll fly and uh, different tests like that. So I think it's going to be really interesting. Uh, I hope you guys stay tuned and uh, watch how this uh, project progresses. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up the basics on this uh, new project that I'm going to be working on um, with Dick Klein. And uh, actually Dick Klein came up with a cool name for this project. He wanted to call it um, Project Jupiter. So we're going to end up calling this plane the uh, Jupiter plane. It's probably going to be, um, I think, uh, the C-54 Jupiter or something like that. So we're going to call it uh, 54 for the uh, size of the wingspan. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, Dick Klein has actually uh, created a couple of logos that he's working on, and uh, you can see them here over here to the side of me. Um, that's kind of still a work in progress, but um, basically that's probably going to end up going on the plane somewhere too. So I thank Dick Klein a lot for um, giving me the inspiration for starting this project and for working with me on the details of it. Uh, so basically that wraps up this portion for the Jupiter project for part one. Um, but since we have some time left, I'm going to throw in um, some videos here of um, some of the flying we did this weekend. Okay, now we're just going to get into some uh, the flying part of the video here. I'm just going to throw in some of the Novajet and uh, probably the F-22 and a couple other planes that I've had. Um, but basically, real quick, I just want to let you guys know um, the music in this portion of the video was provided by our friend and uh, YouTube subscriber, C. Poppy. He was uh, kind enough to share his talents with us of uh, making music. So I told him, hey, I'd throw it into the videos and uh, see if we can help promote him also. It's pretty cool that he's uh, decided to share his talent with us for making music. And um, I'll put a link in the sidebar if any of you guys are into R&B music or this type of music that's in the video, please check out his site too. So, um, hope you like the flying videos and the music.
Yeah. Vertical there. 